Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without much ado, um, in my edition today, um, we want to look at the budget proposals by the country government of Kusumo. And uh, uh, this we are doing in excess of the high calling of the people of Kisumu and in excess of Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya and more importantly in excess of uh, Article 10 on the national values and principles of governance and again in respect to Section 15 of the County Government Act 2012. I hereby present my uh, uh, budget uh, uh, proposals, uh, I mean, uh, my, my comments uh, on the budget that has been proposed by the county government of Kisumu uh, as follows. Eh? More importantly, uh, looking at the 10 key point agenda for this budget, uh, number one is to um, revitalize agriculture for food sustainability. Uh, and uh, enhancement of agribusiness. I, I want to say this. Uh, we all know that uh, we have two main flagship projects in Kisumu County, and, and, and that is um, uh, Namtoy uh, flagship that, that is uh, uh, expanded along Yalenda and part of Kolua. We also know about uh, Mboha flagship that is in uh, Seme. So, um, looking at this budget, I've seen the county government has not allocated any fund for a Namtoy flagship. Now, I, I, I suggest and, and uh, I request the county government to look into this matter because we all know Namtoy has the ability and capacity to feed Kisumu. And uh, this is an area that is agriculturally rich and a place that is uh, ex excellently good for farming. And uh, looking back into uh, the 2019-2020 budget, uh, the county government allo allo allocated 8 million for this project. But when it came to implementation, they only finally uh, okayed a utilization of uh, 5 million. Now, th this, this we have a concerning because um, at the same time, we know uh, Namtoy is uh, covering three wards. That's Kolwa Central, uh, Nyalenda A, and Nyalenda B. Now, Mboha currently is in one ward. And the current government allocated uh, 15 million in the last financial uh, budget. Uh, ne uh, 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 nearly double what was allocated for, for, for Namtoy, which actually covers three wards. So we had a concern about that. Again, this time round, the county government has allocated three million for Mboha flagship, but has allocated none for Namtoy. Now we are asking the county government to relook into this and allocate adequate funds for agribusiness or agri uh, agri works within Namtoy flagship. Now, again, related to this is the. Uh, putting up of gabions along River Nyamasara. I'm asking the current government, I'm asking the CEC in charge of finance to really uh, uh, do a proper evaluation of what is actually needed for gabion uh, along River Nyamasara. In the last financial budget, uh, the current government allocated uh, uh, 3 million, just 3 million for this project, and we know too well that River Nyamasara has got very uh, bad uh, places and we know too well that uh, many a time this river uh, breaks its banks and it's actually destroying uh, the neighborhood and uh, destroying the, uh, the, uh, the farms uh, around, around and along it. So we are asking the county government to be very serious about the issue of storm water management because as far as we are concerned, storm management of storm water is a devolved function and being a devolved function this is the responsibility of the county government of Kisumu to manage storm water 
And now, if River Nyamasare has just been allocated 1.5 million, that is absolutely nothing. Uh, if 3 million could do that little, what will half of that do? I mean, I'm requesting the current government of Kusumu to boost the allocation of this so that uh, we can manage uh, some of these storm waters. Now, again, let me say this, that the current government of Kisumu has been allocating funds for emergency, but very little is there to show for this. Again, in the last financial budget, they allocated 100 million. We are yet to see full utilization of this 100 million. Again, in this financial uh, budget proposal, they have allocated the, uh, again another 100 million. Okay, another 100 million. Now we are asking ourselves, what what has this? What, what proof is there that these funds are being utilized, uh, and um, prudence management of these funds are being exercised? Now we have a concern about that. Again, another important thing is that the country government I've seen in this budget proposal have allocated our funds for giveaway projects like the car wash, I mean the hatcheries and, and many many of these uh, you know uh, uh, items that are given to groups. Now in the last financial budget the county government allocated some funds for this but when it came to implementation what happened? They actually cancelled all that. Now that is a concern. I'm seeing they have been allocated funds. I'm, I'm asking the current government to properly uh, mean exercise or I mean uh, make sure that these funds have actually been utilized. In as far as the PFM Act is concerned and as much and an in, uh, in as far as uh, Article 207 of the Constitution of Kenya as we continue to participate in this budget cycle, I'm asking the country government of Kisumu to ensure that the people of Kisumu get value for their money. Thank you very much. Hope to hear much response from you. Thank you. God bless Kenya. God bless Kisumu. God bless Nyalenda. And God bless all the people of Kisumu County. Thank you very much.